least March is when I am filming this video. Um, like I have said in past videos, I'm not putting as much pressure on myself this year to have these videos come out in any certain time span. So this video will be out when it's out. <laughs> um, but this is my day that I get to open March's wrapped book. So let's recap for a second because we had these two books for January and February. So first we had Crazy Rich Asians, then we had The Manny, and you can go back and watch those videos if you would like to see those. But I'm really excited because I can't wait to see what I've got here. It feels to me like it's a hardback and I feel like I say this every time I unwrap one of these, but honestly, my memory is just when I wrap these, the memory of what I actually chose in here has just zoomed away. And I think also that has happened because I originally picked a bunch and then I narrowed it down from there. So sure, I can remember like picking a bunch and, and what was kind of originally in that big bunch, but from what I picked from there, I don't really have an idea. Book number three, I'm so nervous uh, to see what we got. Yay! Oh my goodness, this is funny. Okay. We've got One of Us is Lying. So this is hilarious, actually, because the author is Karen McManus. And um, I have one of her other books right now from the library. So I have this book from the library that is called Two Can Keep a Secret. And I actually have a friend um, that I met through YouTube that wants to do a buddy read with this one this month. So that's hilarious that I picked um, One of Us is Lying and I have a book by her. I have two books by her <laughs> for this month. But that's, that's really cool because I've heard really amazing things about her. And this one is part of a series. It is the first book in the series. So I will be starting. The series and I purchased this book probably two years ago like dying to read it and I just never got the time to because I am crazy and I'm always reading library books and arcs and between all of that I never get the time to read what I actually have on my shelves so very excited to read this and this one this month and since I'm reading this one as well I might just um give you like a little recap of this one in this video as a little bonus so let's go ahead and get started reading this Just checking in on one of us is lying i'm 80 pages into this right now and i just wanted to give you like a check-in because i feel like i always race through books and forget to check in so <laughs> here i am in the very beginning of this book and so far i'm loving it so i've read two other books by this author um i've read the cousins and i've read Two Can Keep a Secret, and I just read Two Can Keep a Secret. Other than just the writing style, the characters are really cool. It is giving me like, um, oh, what is that movie? I'll put it on the screen. It's giving me that kind of vibes where um, there's a bunch of kids in a classroom, something goes down, they were in detention, and um, a murder happens. And um, you're, you're, it's kind of a whodunit murder, like because you're, you've got all these suspects, but it also could be somebody totally that wasn't in that detention room that could have done the murder um so we're kind of just going along that trail right now of like who might have done it we're also um got multiple povs of each of the students that were in the classroom i want to say there was about five maybe six so we've got all of their povs as well um and one of them obviously was murdered so we don't have his pov but um got all their stuff and and we're kind of just getting a peek into each one of their lives and their brains to kind of see how they're handling this and um kind of be able to figure out maybe if one of them might have possibly been involved in this murder or not so as of right now um i have i have slight suspicions but this author like 
leads you usually to a suspicion and then will completely go the opposite direction. So I'm thinking my suspicions are most likely going to be wrong and I'm going to have to change them throughout the book. So as of right now, I'm really invested and I'm really enjoying it and I cannot wait to continue reading. Every time I put it down, I'm like, I just want to pick it back up because it's just, it's very interesting. I love multiple POVs. I love reading about all different people's lives and like what they're up to um, in current moment. And then we go from that moment to like the very next moment with the next character. So I love that. And I just can't wait to see where this book is going to go. And um, yeah, that's it. Let's go get back to reading. about this book like I cannot even find words to, to explain I've been I've been thinking about what I want to say um, for this wrap-up because this book blew my mind it was unlike any other thriller book I've ever read which is saying something because I have read probably at least a hundred thriller books so far in my lifetime <laughs> probably more but I just, I just never saw it coming. I was trying to puzzle and pick this apart the whole book. I swear to you, I had it figured out about three different times and turns out didn't have it figured out. Wasn't even close is the crazy part. Like I don't really want to give too much away. I don't really even want to say more than what I've already said in previous like clips here. I know I haven't given you a whole lot to go off of. Basically, it's just like kids get trapped in a detention room together. One of them dies. We've got suspects. We're trying to figure it out. Um, the only little bit more that I wanted to give you was that um, we have multiple POVs of all the characters of all the different kids that were in that room. So and they each have a lot of secrets and they each have like very speckled pasts and things they want to keep hidden. There is this website that the kid that um, got murdered, ran, and it was like a website full of secrets. So he, um, would release secrets from all the kids in the high school, just randomly. And he wouldn't name names though. He would use the first letter of the name and then people would have to like figure it out from there. So secrets are getting revealed even though he's not around anymore and it's creeping everyone out and and no one can figure out like who's doing it and it did someone hack in and are they releasing was it like a pre-planned thing no one knows but secrets are getting revealed of the kids that were in the detention room and they all have a lot of secrets so that's all i want to say but um i couldn't i could not believe like who really did it and how it all worked out in the end it blew my mind loved it five stars five stars Congratulations to this book. Also, I'm so excited it's a series and I cannot wait to see what the other books have in store for us. I don't even know how many there are. I think there's like three or four. Um, I'm definitely gonna be reading the next one soon. I might even make a video on it if I really love it. Like I love this one. I cannot wait to read the next one. I really can't. Like my mind's reeling. My mind is reeling. Can you tell? Like I don't even know what to say. Um, okay, so that's really it. That's all I have to say for this video because I don't want to give anything else away. But if you want to see more content from me, I post all the time on my Instagram. I would love to see you over there. Go check it out. I do lots of fun stuff over there. Um, I also post a weekly video here. That's every single Friday. So make sure you check back for that. And make sure you subscribe, notification bell, all that fun stuff. Like the video. Leave me a comment. Tell me how your day is going. Tell me what you're reading. And I'll see you again in another video very, very soon. Bye-bye.